Peter, a, a difficult one on opening day here. What's your assessment after a disappointing scoreline? Uh, everything disappointing. Um, I promised people we'd be ready, and uh, I thought we were, but obviously we got a lot, a lot of work to do. Um, more so in the, I think, on the mentality, on the mental side of the game, um, to see us collapse like we did in the second half after probably having the best part of the last second half of the first half and then the first 10 minutes in the second half where we looked bright and we caused and created problems and chances to then give away a, another sloppy goal um, and then to fold like we did. Um, I can only but apologise to the supporters because that's not what we intended, I intended or anything like that. So, And I can guarantee that things will be different on Tuesday. It must make it doubly frustrating for you because, as you mentioned there, the last 10 minutes of the first half and the opening stage of the second half, we're the better side. Well, 20, 20, 20 minutes into the game, obviously, they had the better chances because they started brighter than we did. But as we've talked about before, it's about weathering the storm and making sure that we stay in the game, which we did. Um, and then we started to sort of midway point in the first half, we started to get into the game better and got people in much better areas of the pitch. Uh, and got justly deserved, got our equaliser and, and went into the half, you know, confident of, of coming out second half and being starting in the same vein, which I thought we did. Um, but uh, but then, like I said, games games change with with goals and, and they got a second one, you know, was a, was a tough one to concede. Um, and then uh, and then such a, a third one so quickly after, um, like I said, and once that had gone in, I think that that was where we started to lose our way a little bit. And uh, there's enough experience in there not to lose their way. So I'm hugely disappointed with, with them um, and what they gave us on the opening day of, of a new season. The confidence is obviously a little bit fragile after that one. Is it about now picking the boys up for Tuesday night and trying to right the wrongs from today? Um, yeah, I, I spoke to them before the game and I said that we wanted a, a good performance uh, and results would, would, would follow that. Um, the fact that the game's come around thick and fast now gives us a great opportunity to to put in a better performance, um, and we owe, you know, not as, not just ourselves, but we owe our supporters a performance on Tuesday. Um, and like I said, I'll be still as prepared as I always am, and hopefully they will be as well. No Josh today, and Matt yeah. Preston goes off injured. Can you got an update on either of those? So Matt, Matt, was, Matt was just cramped again. So he came in very late, obviously, and hasn't trained a huge amount. But he, we spoke to him on Thursday and Friday, and was he, you know, was he felt was he feeling good enough shape to play? And he did. Obviously, you know, we knew he'd get around the 60, 70 minute mark and might tire a little bit. And as he put it, so it's just a bit of cramp. So hopefully he'll be he'll be fine. Um, Josh trained lightly on Thursday. Uh, was a bit more intense on Friday, but was still not quite there. So that's the reason we've left him out again today because he's he's not quite right. And I'd rather have him for possibly Tuesday or Saturday than have him out for the next six eight weeks. So so we didn't decide to take a gamble with him. So uh, so that's where we are with that one. But hopefully, if not Tuesday, then hopefully by Saturday he'll be back involved with the squad again. And for the goals we conceded in the second half, it seems like a bit of miscommunication from defensively. Is that something you've got to put down to the fact we got a new back four? Oh, well, it is to a degree, yeah, of course. I mean, I'm not making excuses. We, you know, the goals are basic errors, defensively errors as a, as a group. Um, and there are enough, there are players in that back four and Scott in goal and the players in front of him that have got plenty of games under their belt at this level. And, you know, so I, you would be surprised that we've given away. Yes, you can understand the odd miscommunication. Um, and, you know, Maybe I'm looking at it a bit harshly because I thought Eastley's finishing. They punished us every chance. Every time we made a mistake, they punished us. You know, so um, so outside of that, it was it was it was t- it was very tough to take. And just lastly, how important would it be that the senior players in this team and actually all the boys now really pick themselves up and try and get a go again on Tuesday? All the, all the players need to do it. At the end of the day, they I know they're disappointed as well, and you know, but there's but there's there's only one person to to point the finger at. You know, at on, not pointing the finger out, that's wrong, but there's, there's only one, you know, one group of people that can put things right now, and that's us as a group and the team that, that obviously started today. You know, they've got to go out on Tuesday and, and uh, you know, show people that they, they, they have every right to have faith in them, which, which I have, and, and I'm sure the supporters will when they, see, when they see the better side of them.